Alrighty. Hello everybody, it's Diamond Kitty Gaming, and welcome back to Roblox Iron Assault. Oh, I believe I forgot to open my Spotify. And, uh, begin to get ready for... Yes, here we are. Uh, we're not going to use... I don't think... Well, you know what? We might do drumsticks again. We might do the same drumsticks now. Yeah. But, uh, yes, we're going to go back to Iron Assault. So, last time, we got a comment from another fan, just like we did for the last video, that asked me if I could play a Canada... Just any version of Canada. And I am happy to do so. I have friends in Canada. And um, I'm quite excited to do so. I, uh, I really like Canada, especially in Iron Assault. Uh, as a country, but especially in Iron Assault. World War I. Oh my god, I'm going to roleplay the darkest Canadian period ever. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, uh, Canada was incredibly brutal uh, in World War I. I don't know why my... Full screen on, please. Thank you. I don't know why, but um, Canada was incredibly brutal during World War One. They took no prisoners and had a policy of killing the wounded. Um, so I'm quite, quite interested to play Canada in this and play the brutal ones, because let, let's say in uh, in non-accordance to the current stereotype, they do not say sorry to anything during uh, the period of 19. 14 to 1918. Uh, I should probably get the Drumsticks album up. Again, credit to the other hand, please. Uh, listen to all of these um, pieces of great, great music from our musical uh, creator, from our musical creator for the channel and uh, Twitch channel and my friend. So, uh, yes. Uh, I will slightly lower that. I wrote a 10-page report on World War One. Oh, cool. So we, we're starting with 13 players, which isn't bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, wait, what was I saying? I, I, I got distracted. I never get distracted! What the? Anyways, uh, okay, so... Ah! I completely lost my mind there for a second. Okay. Uh, well, Canada is not a bad country to start with. Uh, and nor is the music bad. I, I don't know exactly what I was going to say there, but I'm just assuming some things. Why is Maine... Why is Vermont a city? Like, if anything, in 1918, like, Ohio or something should be a city... Also, like, British Columbia. I, I feel like they may have given the U.S. Uh, a city in Vermont because they maybe live there. I don't exactly know why Austria-Hungary is yellow. <laughs> and this reminds me why I play Iron Assault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Austria says, looking at Serbia. I'm sorry about the assassination. Why is everyone debuffed? Because they should be, probably, so you can industrialize really quickly. What is the black country that Japanese Korea is? Uh-oh. The unmade country? You're gonna have to pick it, I guess. Oh, we're all allied to it. Don't worry, my friend. I will find out. I will find out. It is host country. It is host. Because it, you gotta kill host nation because you forgot to choose it. The host forgot to choose the host nation, which shouldn't exist, and the host nation gets like 400... Tanks, so now when everyone suddenly declares a war, we're, we're, we're all gonna die. Excellent. We've gotta... We've, we, we, we have to survive it. Okay, we've... I, I, that's not how history went. Germany did not declare war in America before... Right? We've introduced quite a lot of different beliefs now. 
here check it we're going off you might you may wonder also it's 1918 oh yeah there's there's a couple problems with this map i see but it doesn't matter i'm still trying i'm going to try and survive this one even with the host nation probably bearing down upon me the Ottoman Empire has moved into Tabriz, and Iran has moved into Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. 1919 German Empire, I don't think, looked exactly like this. But, you know. I can go monitor what Host is doing. Which, we're just going to call it Zombie Invasion at this point. A maybe an alien invasion. Secret force from absolutely nowhere. It hasn't done a single thing yet. Who am I allied to? Host. Which is not the host. It's AI. It's AI, which means declaring war on it will kill you. I don't, I never understood the purpose of a host like country, unless, like, I never understood the purpose of a host country unless you plan to, like, choose that. And he forgot to pick it. Like, like it, you have to delete that, man. Okay, so there's the Bolsheviks. Oh, Finland. Finland has taken St. Petersburg? Alright, interesting. Estonian uprising. Republic of Latvia, Ukraine. Wow. So the Russian Empire and the Bolsheviks, I don't think I don't think either of them are gonna be. Which does bring up an interesting point. One of their neighbors during the Russian Civil War could have Oh well, actually they did. Poland did, right? I'm going to keep those five points, honestly. Slight bit of communism, slight bit of democracy, but we are going off. We are totally going off. So what's going on in Europe? Um... Tag Poland he is not doing all that much. Um, host country has host country deployed at all? Host country is not deployed at all. I see Greece has taken back Istanbul. Oh, Greece is just going for the Ottomans. Just in general. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not Serbia. Serbia did not surrender to the Austro-Hungarians. Austria-Hungary is at war with Italy. I don't know if it knows it's at war with Italy or not. Sorry, France. Huh? A very interesting avatar here. I didn't realize that we'd have, like... Girl version of Napoleon? Or just anime, like, long-haired man? I honestly can't tell. Nor do I think I want to pick under threat of my life. <laughs> um, Astro-Hungry. Can I have some resources? I think he'd probably be more likely to give you resources if you called him Austria-Hungary, not Astro-Hungary. Oh yeah, said the extraterrestrial. I am feeling Astro-Hungary today. <laughs> Unitary Canada, so no flag change, unfortunately. That's alright though. Oh, Italy has been taken out. Greek Medina. 
I see the Finnish and the Chinese are now trying to work out a partition of Russia. I honestly think it's probably a really good idea for someone to come in and create chaos, because all this, all of this, everyone's doing, like, fine. I can't send more, I need to build up my army. Ooh, Austria-Hungary needs to build up their army. That's a bad thing to state aloud. See, I would declare war on the U.S. even, maybe. Just because I think maybe I'd be able to strike downward. The only issue is I know host is actually closest to me. No, France. Leave Astro-Hungary. You're telling him to leave Hungary. So, new idea. Promote host to authoritarian. Oh, no! They've... Well, isn't this a switch? Man, that was a weird amount of... All right. Real big thing is it? it there. No, the balkanization. France did not liberate Sir, uh, Bavaria. This has got to be the. This has got to be so. A real good test of whether a a map is really really good or not. Sometimes lies in whether they have like releasables like Bavaria, because you can change the colors. But to make it a really encompassing and engrossing map, you have to make stuff like Canada's flags change. Things like even little nations changing flags and such. Uh, it looks like Germany's going to attack from that land. Doesn't matter to me, though. I'm coming in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I want to see how... Okay, they did take that then. That's alright. Well, I definitely don't have the manpower to do that. And oh god, the states! I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, especially with host country coming in. I don't like how everything is allied to each other. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here, you know what? Um Cause I I Okay, all all when all said and done, I didn't like that map. <laughs> like I, I didn't like that map at all. I'm gonna um here, let's restart this and then keep that. Oh wait, this is the lyrical one. It starts out with the lyrical one. And we'll pull up the sound a little bit too. We're only 13 minutes in, so um, I don't feel like there's a huge loss there. Oh, World War II. Okay, that's custom map though. 1860s. Please let me in. 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 1860s. Nice. Wonderful. Ah. Shush. British Dominion of Canada. That's not going to stick around for long. Okay, so we've got just Native Americans with green. The South. The Union. Okay. Bunch of duchies. 
I don't exactly think that's the Prussian flag, but... Feds had DC. The Feds did have DC. It's just they didn't split this into two. Oh, Feds? Y you mean South, right? Confederacy? Oh, Confeds! There's... I see. When I see Feds, I mean, like, I see, like, Federal, and that means Union, but... The Feds didn't have New Mexico. I, to be honest, I don't think anyone had New Mexico, because it was a territory at that point, in the 1860s. Well, it says 1860s, but this says 1936. This is... To me, this is me at to be 1862. I don't exactly know what that means. Oklahoma was U USS. Russia, can I have a province? No, 10 resources. Are you... Are you selling... I am supposed to wear Ottomans in 1877. Well, congratulations. It's 1936, but everything looks like 1877, so you don't have to worry about that. The map ends at 1870, though. Then why is it 1936? Wow. Okay, so this is the hallmark of a good map. You see this? Everyone... All these different things are completely different and such. All these flags are different. Whole new releasables. All of this stuff. Good colors. Yet again, though, big decision here with if they can make me not go off as Canada. If, if, if when I go off as Canada, there will be something or not. There will be a new flag or not. Deport political enemies. I don't think I can afford to do that right now. I'm going to fix two dates. The data sure only 10. Wait, do I only have 10 years to do stuff? Oh, you've got a Confederacy versus Union. You should stop chatting. You're about to get wrecked. What? Huh? Britain versus France? USA dupe? I don't know, did they? Alright, well the... The Brits just, uh, wasted their troops on, uh... On France, so I'm acquisitioning Labrador. Australia, you shouldn't. The Union is offering an alliance? Yes! You know what? I'll offer peace to you. No? You don't want any peace? I suppose they want a piece of me. Instead. That's fine. Ooh, the Raj is here. How much? Forty? Interesting. Interesting conclusion. I saw that one coming, though. Unfortunately! Oh, you little... What? What? Me little what? You see? I know your plans. And they will fail.
good. Yes. I'll make peace. I'll attack the other Dominions, but we'll be fine. Should have asked. Why would I do that? You're a week from France. To be honest, I thought this was going to get bigger gains. Unfortunate, but that doesn't mean I can't do this. Hey, Scotland. Just how much are you interested in um, owning Britain? Liberating as well? Yeah. And? What do you mean? Please, do attack this. Trust me, guys, you will see how this will work out in a second. Gonna declare war on that? He did already. That ruins our stability a bit. And leaves me to take back what I own. Hey, look, Portugal. There we go. Had to wait for New Zealand to connect those two again. I will once more ask for your peace. All right. I'll need another division. Somehow I managed to gain intel on that, by the way. Alright, sure. You don't want to attack me, that's fine. Actually perfect, honestly. Oh yes, Union, please do. I don't know why I'm at Worth Portugal, to be honest. But you know, if I'm at war with Portugal, that's pretty good, because I can just take that. Union. Did Union ever chat? They did. Union, do you mind sending me 
um, your source. This is Canada. I need help. Tags, you. I am requesting some help because, um, you know. Union? 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 Union! Union casually ignores me. Oh! Union sends me resources. 24 seconds too late. Okay. That's good. Uh, that good? Uh, probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. What? Oh, he's gonna try and take that. Very well. Hello! Good to see you. Anyways. <laughs> you really gotta stop doing this to yourself, UK. Might need some more next round. Uh, last time I'll ask, though. Probably. Okay. Okay. Cool. Preferably before the next purchase phase. And preferably you don't- I make enough? Okay, cool. Awesome. Three in Canada? Two boats in London. Gotcha. I will continue to promote the UK. Alright, by the way. I, uh, I don't have any need for any of this before, so you know. Please, Royal Navy, do not attempt to rout me. You're annoying. <laughs> yes, I know. And I will sink your fleets. I'm sorry, I wanted Scotland to have that, you know. Okay, maybe one more. Okay. Maybe one more. Maybe one more purchase. Maybe one more ask of aid next round. Ah, <sighs> don't you guys love listening to other hand music while well, watching me destroy the British Empire? I was gonna go off, but actually it works much better if I'm democratic. I see that I'm taking some, um... Promotional losses, too. Thank you. 
All right. Here's a plot, guys. reaction that's a bit of a hard reaction to this yes i know what you're trying to say <laughs> that's a bit of a harsh reaction to losing in a game don't you think i mean i'm not gonna say what he said because that would get me banned off youtube i believe but um i'm pretty sure he just um hmm, how would i say this to use in the most cringe terms possible pretty sure he just told me to unalive but uh <laughs> Unfortunately for him, I don't give a crap. <laughs> Thanks, Union. Look, none of this would be possible without the help of my friends. My fans, and of course, the United States of America! Hurrah! <laughs> hey look, Scotland is getting so powerful now. Free healthcare. da 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 I can't actually put any units down because I already liberated both Scotland and Belgium, meaning I don't have a singular city. It's it's a bit it's a bit sorry. My my the, the state of my army is a bit sorry right now. Man, I love drumsticks XL. I'm only sad there was no, like, England or Wales releasable, so I could have really made that, like, painful. Oh yeah, by the way... I will also split the British Isles up into everything else. I'm gonna promote the UK? Cool. Although you'll probably end up bringing Quebec from them. No! Please don't route that! Ah! I did it five times. Cool. Why is the UK AI more annoying than the player? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so rude. Please don't- Yes, okay. I am ironically pretty much right back in the position I began with. Except the UK is, um, considerably worse off. Paris is the capital of Belgium and London the capital of Scotland. And Ireland exists now. Oh my god, it's 1946! Or 1943, out of 1946. I can't believe it, I actually only did have 10 turns to do all this. And in that 10 terms, we beat the British Empire. The UK opposition has formed out of Labrador. I support them, but I don't. Because th that's my that's my city. Or technically it's their city still. I don't care though, I want it. And you see, if I want something, it will happen. I guess that in Iron Assault at least. I guess that uh, take no prisoners policy really worked against the British Empire. The second time around, Scottish colonization of England really, uh, really hit off. Trust me. There was definitely no opposition.
hey, look, the British are, are, and are in fact here. Still with like 24 divisions. Oh, they are actually taking back Belgium. Unfortunate. I guess I'll have to make a base out of that. I can't attack the Portuguese right now, so doesn't matter. I'll just take Gibraltar. And no, I don't want the UK's opposition to run out of Labrador. That's my time. My town mined forevermore! Oh, Canada! Social justice. Everyone is represented fairly. By that, I mean we've finally abolished that no prisoners policy. <laughs> Twenty-one divisions from Britain. Thirty-two versus me. I think I can probably pull that off. Especially because I don't think they have a city, do I? Oh, no, wait, they do. It's Hong Kong. That's alright. I'll set out two ways at once. Yeah, they've got 21 divisions. Versus 32. Early tanks. I might not be able to make it Hong Kong. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'm all apologies for that disappointment, however, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Instead, I'll take the Caribbean Islands. I mean, I have Gibraltar, right? I have Gibraltar and now the Caribbean Islands. I, I, I'm starting to form my own Canadian... Uh, my own Canadian Commonwealth, which ironically, you know. Hey, Belgium took it back. That's good, because I kind of wanted them to do that anyways. The sun sets on the British Empire. Now running out of a provisional government in Hong Kong. <laughs> Which will probably break away from them too because Hong Kong has a liberation territory in there. Oh my god, Scotland and Bengal is not something I expected, but... Alright, sure. I like this one too. How, how do you guys like the other end's music, by the way? Tell me in the comments. How, how do you guys like the uh, alternative music? The Union, the Russian Empire, and the Union. Well, I don't care. The sun is set in the British Empire, and it's mainly due to the Union in Canada. A Pax Americana Canada has set in over the world, especially with. Counting the puppets that I have in Ireland, Belgium, and Scotland right now. Plus the fact I control all trade of who goes into, like, the Western Mediterranean. And the Canadian Islands. I mean, the Caribbean Islands. I mean, they're definitely the Canadian Islands. I colonize them. They're Canadian now. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, with that, I think I finally achieved a successful end to a Canadian um, game. I hope you guys enjoyed... And, uh, yes, listen to Other Hand, and, uh, yeah, I, I hope this video was enjoyable. And, um, you know, I'm not very easily toxic, especially in Iron Soul. I like to keep things easy going and nice, pretty calm. But, um, take the L, British Empire. The only reason I say that is because, um, you told me some not very nice things there at the end. So, um, you know. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching a uh, 40-minute video, a little lot less long than normal. And um, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. This has been Diamond Kitty Game Video. Remember to like and subscribe if you uh, haven't already and did enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.